So, I made a video the other day talking about the One Piece character, Yamato, and the fact that she is a female, has always been a female, and will always be a female, despite wishing somewhat to be regarded as a male, due to a torturous upbringing by her monstrous father, Kaido, Captain of the Beast Pirates. Now, this all came about, of course, because the new voice actor for the English dub of the Wano Country section of One Piece decided to reignite the trans war on Twitter after landing the gig, but of course, she's not the only one, as the sanctimonious leader and co-host of the podcast One Piece Podcast, an extremely self-important title if you ask me, has decided that it would be a really, really good idea to further insult the character and, of course, mangaka Eiichiro Oda, who cleared all this up quite a while ago, by ignoring the author's own words to promote the Lugabata narrative. Well, true One Piece fans, story fans, character fans, Oda fans, have absolutely had enough and are slamming the ever-loving hell out of not only Yurko but the entire community that seeks to pervert, warp and bastardize One Piece and this character in yet another delicious backlash to offensive, amoral, unnatural ideology that gets pushed through our entertainment. Hello legends, welcome back to Will of the Fans, my name's Will. See what I did there, I hope you're having a lovely day. Consider liking the video, I know it's early days yet, but you might still enjoy it, or subscribing to this channel if you'd like to support me against the oppressive algorithm that seeks to pervert and destroy just as much as these crazies do on Twitter. Any case, we're going to go over to a One Piece podcast's co-host Steve Yurko blasted by fans after ignoring H.E.R. Oda's words to push debunk transgender Yamato, blah, 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 transgender Yamato theory, excuse me, still a little sick there, reading at speed is a little difficult. Here we are then at Bounding Into Comics, where we're going to go Go ahead and read. How fun. Less than 24 hours after One Piece English voice actor Michelle Rojas, Rojas, no idea, reignited the already debunked discourse over Yamato's gender identity, One Piece podcast co-host and Rick and Morty storyboard artist. Oh yeah, left that part out, didn't I? Yeah, Rick and Morty, whatever happened to that show? Oh yeah, people like this. Steve Yurko has added fuel to the already blazing conflict by calling on fans to intentionally ignore the words of series creator Eiichiro Oda. And how has he done that? Well, he has decided that it would be a really good idea to ignore the Viva card, ignore all the information that we put up the other day, supporting the obviousness of her female gender, and has posted various other things, but most chiefly this picture that I'm getting to right there. This picture here, which clearly was not drawn by Oda at all. Although that hand there kind of looks like it could be Oda's own hand. What we are seeing right here is a lewd depiction of Yamato sharing the boys' bathroom in One Piece, being cheered on by Luffy, who absolutely would not be in favor of anyone lying to themselves, and rejecting her own Vivre card, being held by this Japanese-ish looking hand that also has some stink lines coming off it. Well, can you believe that? Fed up with the constant attempt by fair-weather audiences to overwrite original works with their own narratives, One Piece fans at large pushed back against Yurko's flagrant dismissal of Oda's words. Yes, they are very angrily responding to this picture right here. And can you really blame them? It is at best offensive, at mid just untrue, and, you know, at worst, really, really racist. <laughs> if we are to uh, interpret it that way. But why should we give them the benefit of the doubt when they never give it to us? Quote unquote from Debut Lover 2, effing loser who can't accept the truth and disregards what Oda and the editors want. Ignoring objective proof is another reason people despise you liberal, <laughs> liberal progressive shitheads. Turn off comments all you want, we're beating you in the QRTs. Not shocking you work on Rick and Morty. Damn. Someone else comes along here says, uh, Death Speed ZX, uh, she uses Kanojo pronoun, which is female. She never used he or him or ever called herself a man. That was a translation error. Also, outside of the English mistranslation error in manga, every single thing depicts her as a female, and she is referred to as the only princess in manga. 
Yeah, of course, we can see the picture there where she features on the all-female spread alongside Nami, Robin, Carrot, God does, all of the others as well. Vivi's in there as well. You can see them all. Jewelry Bonnie's there. In any case, let's carry on. And there's that picture again. Here it is again with someone else quote tweeting. This is just getting funny now, laughed TOFUK19. So the Vivra cards are information details. Oda's own staff confirmed that they run through with Oda before publishing them. Of course, it confirms that Yamato is a woman, but a certain community won't accept what the author says of his own product. Well, no, because these this certain community that we are talking about here is incapable of dealing with the fact that reality is reality and reality ain't them. Their ideas and their ideology are not something that is grown from reality. They are grown from ideology. The, the concept of men becoming women and women becoming men is alien to basic biology. It doesn't occur in any species on the planet and it doesn't occur in humans. They are wrong. They've been wrong for an insanely long amount of time, and it's only when they started getting seriously, uh, seriously aggressive that we have realized the only way to fight back is to stamp them out as they're attempting to stamp us out. It sucks. It really does. No one wants to treat people this way. But if you are going to continue to try and argue black's white, then we're going to have to continue to fight back that white is white, black is black, red is red, blue is blue, and Yamato is a female. It does, she doesn't even exist, for crying out loud. Here comes someone else who just cuts it the way it is. Yamato has big boobs. <laughs> yeah, all the women in One Piece have big boobs. Oda only gives his female characters big boobs and an hourglass body shape. Yes, he does. That's his particular prerogative. It wasn't always like that. If you look at Nami in the first few chapters, she had a much more subtle figure. It got more and more ridiculous as the show went on, and now all the women are completely and totally crazy, big boob, big ass, tiny little stomach hourglass figures. Uh, he literally calls it the female figure. Continues, continues, Zen chaoticist, Supi underscore Cappy, Yamato is a woman. And here, of course, is a page out of the SBS that we get in the manga volumes of One Piece, where it says, question, it's nice to meet you. If you don't mind, could you tell me the secret to drawing the hourglass figures of the women in One Piece, especially the boobs? Thank you, heart emoji, from If There Is No Bread, Let Them Eat Roses. Ichiro Oda, of course, answers these himself and says, Yes, hello, this is the special SBS drawing lesson. Just think of the female figure as three circles and one X. And now, goodbye. Brackets. If this is the only figure you draw, your female readers will send you many criticisms. Try to remain strong and dedicated. Close brackets. <laughs> you gotta love that Oda sense of humor. So, I mean, yeah, basically, there's yet another reason that we can say then... Basically, that by virtue of the fact that she has an hourglass figure, this is a female character. This is how the tr creator treats his own characters. You would do good to respect his choices. Ichiro Oda, I stand by your character design. Some even theorize that the hand holding Yamato's Viva card in Yoko's piece was Oda himself. Someone says here, oh yes, like I said, depicts the author as smelly Jap. Can I say that on YouTube? I don't know. Image depicts the blatant disregard of an official source of canon information. Tourists eat this shit up. All this so they can push their idiot headcanon of Yamato being trans. The state of the anime community. We should have gate kept harder. Yes, we should have gate kept harder. As we should with Star Wars. As we should with Lord of the Rings. As we should with Indiana Jones. As we should with Ghostbusters. As we should with every single thing these freaks get into and manage to twist and pervert until they can argue anything because you can't disprove it. Well, we can disprove it. The evidence is there. Oda's own word is there. And if you argue the word of Oda, that's like arguing the word of God. Now, okay, now I'm not a particularly religious person, but okay, let's not say God. Let's say nature. You can't argue with nature. Nature always wins. And Oda is nature in his diegetic universe. Try to argue Try to say anything you want. It doesn't matter. You don't matter. And you will never matter. So there you go. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it. And please support the channel if you would like to by subscribing today. It really helps me out if you'd like to see some more of me. Because I would like to see more of you. I'll be back with another video.